Hello everybody, it is Connie here. I am doing my TTC vlog and it's been two weeks since I've updated and this is so not like me. I always update every week but um, yeah, I think I just had a lot on my mind and just been really busy and getting caught up with life stuff and um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I went to go see my OBGYN. It was my first official OBGYN appointment so I was really excited to meet her. Um, she was nice and I went in there hoping to kind of tell a little white lie and say that my husband and I had been trying for over a year and it was the weirdest thing because once I got in there I couldn't tell a lie. I like <laughs> became like George Washington or something. I, I just couldn't bring myself to lie about something like that. And I don't know, I was just thinking, you know, if, if we're going to have a good patient-doctor relationship, it shouldn't start off on a lie. So um, I didn't tell my doctor that I had been, um, well, that my husband and I had been trying for over a year. The reason why I wanted to tell her that was because I wanted to speed up the process and maybe get some tests done um, that normally wouldn't be done unless we had been trying for over a year without success. So um, I thought that, um, you know, by telling her that I'd be able to get more tests. And, and sure enough, I asked her, oh, you know, could I check for, you know, you know, infertility and stuff like that and see what's going on inside my fallopian tubes. And she's like, well, what did you have in mind? And I, and I just kind of threw out, oh, how about we do an HSG test? And she was like, um, I think if I were to give you that test, it would be unethical. And so basically she was just saying, it's only been six months. You know, it doesn't make any sense for us to go and do, you know, aggressive, you know, infertility testing right now at this time and um, so you know all she did was order some blood tests for me and I actually went in today and got my blood drawn and um, yeah we'll see what my hormones are saying she didn't test all the hormones she tested like because I kind of told her that I told her I had kind of like odd periods sometimes where I don't want to go into the details because it's so TMI and it's so gross, but I told her some things about my periods and she was like, well, you know, let's do these tests and test for these hormones and then check, um, you know, in a couple weeks to see if they're, if you have endometriosis and anyway, so <clears throat> basically that's it. So I just, um, I'm going to wait for what my blood tests say and in the interim, actually, um, a couple of days ago, I did order some ovulation, like, you know, those bulk um, ovulation kits and uh, pregnancy tests. Um, I think they were called Wandfo, um, and I got them in the, ma in the mail. And actually, they when I got these, um, they it didn't say Wandfo. The brand is, like, easy at home. <laughs> so I don't see the word Wandfo anywhere on the instructions or anything. So these are 10 um, pregnancy tests, and then these are... Um, 40 ovulation um, predictor sticks. So, um, yeah, so I guess I'll be trying those. Um, oops, and I let me just lean forward here. Um, I also got the a basal body thermometer, um, ordered all of these off of Amazon. Um, I think I'll try to start um, charting and, 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 and temping and all of that. I never really did that before. Um, so we'll give it a go. <laughs> um, and this cycle for September was a total bust. Um, my poor husband got shingles. <laughs> I'm so sad. So, you know, I don't know if you know what shingles are, but they're a virus, a chicken pox virus that's still living in your body. So after you're, after you get them as a kid, the virus just stays in your body and it lays dormant and, and they'll just pop up, you know, I guess when your body starts to feel run down and really tired, um, the shingles will resurface. So poor guy, <laughs> this, uh, so this, um, so this cycle, we didn't really baby dance in the right times. I mean, we did, but I don't feel like we really took advantage of my fertile days. So, 
oh well, we'll try again next month in October. Um, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Ladies, thank you so much for listening and for you know following my journey and thank you for those new subscribers. Um, I'm going to check out your channels as well and subscribe back if you are if you make vlogs as well. So um, a lot of times people subscribe and they don't make vlogs, so I have to go and physically check um, by clicking on their username to see if they vlog as well. But yeah, so thanks for those new subscribers. Um, yeah, and if you like this video, please uh, like it, um, comment, let me know if you're a TTCer. Um, on YouTube and uh, subscribe if you want to follow me on my journey. Um, and also before I go, I just want to give a huge shout out and congratulations to Jenny. Jenny, I am so happy for you. She had been trying for two years and she did IUI and everything and, and it worked and she's pregnant. So yay, I'm so excited for you. Um, wishing you a happy, healthy pregnancy. And I can't wait to watch your pregnancy vlogs. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's all. Thanks so much guys for listening and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. So I guess I just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction. Um, my husband and I got married in March of this year and pretty soon, like right after we got married,